Yo, what's up? We're at the dock, and uh, it's a really great afternoon. The sun is shining really nicely. People are out having a great time, and overall, it's a great vibe. We have some seals behind us who are playing in the dock and playing in the water with each other, and uh, yeah, it's really great to see that. But what I actually wanted to talk about today is attachment and how the things you do in life are based around the attachments that you have. So the first thing you need to know is that every single one of us as individuals have certain attachments in our life, whether that be attachment to people, whether that be attachment to ideas, or whether that even be attachment to experiences. So diving a little bit deeper into this, when you grow up as a kid, you are basically taught all these ideas that shape the way you grow and develop and shape how you behave in the future. So attachment is not necessarily a bad thing, nor is attachment a good thing. Attachment is just something that humans have developed in order to survive and many other animals have developed in order to survive. What's important to know is that attachment, however, may be holding you back in some parts of your life. And this is because I like to use the analogy of water. When you hold water in your hand, if you gently cup it, the water will remain. But the more you try to squeeze it and the more you try to hold on to it, the more that water leaves your hand and falls out. And it's the same thing with attachments. The more you try to hold on to these ideas that you've been taught, the experiences you've had and certain things that you go through in life, the more you hold on to these things and grab at them, the more they elude you and the more you don't get what it is that you're actually doing. So in the same way, when we grow up, we learn certain skills, we learn certain ideas and those are instilled by our parents, our family, our friends and generally the people around us. And when we learn these lessons, we implement them later on in life. A lot of us go through life not knowing what these ideas are, such as these certain type of people are bad, or I am a certain type of individual, or people like us don't do X, Y, and Z. And as you can see, just by what I've said, that can create a lot of limiting beliefs in the person you become, because the things you do are shaped around the attachments that you have. And similarly with people, a lot of people get into relationships that are not necessarily good for them, but they stay in these relationships because they get attached to the feelings that these individuals that they are dating or maybe in their life are giving to them. And it's very dangerous because that's how you get a lot of people in abusive relationships unable to leave. They get attached to the idea that they need to be with this person to be happy or to find any way to be fulfilled in life. And it's so important to know that you can't grab onto it. Just as we had the analogy of water, you can't keep on grabbing. You have to let these things gently flow in and out of your life. And lastly, how it relates to ideas and concepts that you realize is that certain people may seed certain ideas in your mind, such as you're, you're not the type of person who can do this. I never expected you to do X, Y, and Z. Or, you know what, you seem off today. Those are ideas that people put into your head, not necessarily are ideas that you give yourself. And from that, that shapes the way you behave. But once you realize these are just attachments to certain concepts, not necessarily that you've given yourself or that your friends have given you, but are taken from an amalgamation of different places, you can start to realize the type of person you are. You start to realize that you're not the individual that you thought you are. You're a culmination of ideas, you're a culmination of experiences, and you just label yourself as a certain individual who does certain things and who can't do other things. And uh, it's very dangerous to live life like that because you start to find yourself on autopilot where a lot of your behaviors are not in your control and rather just you responding to whatever your environment is giving you or you 
behaving the way that you think society would like you to behave. So one method you can do to overcome these attachment issues is basically having a self-introspective look at who you are and the types of behaviors that you do as well as what's up what's up so i've just made some friends and uh really look at yourself and look at all the concepts and ideas that you have and try to find out where these things come from where they serve you positively where they serve you negatively and you can then start living your life to a much more full extent where a lot of the decisions you make are coming from a conscious place rather than a place of you just responding to your environment and then just to close off this video I'd like to give you an analogy of this bird that I used to have at my house in Joburg so there was a mom and dad and over the course of a few months there was a, a baby chick and that baby chick was protected by its parents for a while until one day I never saw it again and I realized it was so similar to the things that we're doing I'm at a stage where I've left my parents and I'm now trying to make it on my own and that's basically what the bird is doing but the bird can't be attached to the fact that this human has a house this human has food and that he is a bird and I'm a human and therefore the life is unfair he can't be attached to that idea. He needs to be attached to the idea that everything he does in life or she does in life is something that can take his or her life forward. And the same way that the bird does that, you, you as a human also need to do that. You need to take behaviors and do things in life that are going to get you to where you want to be without being attached to what other people are doing, without being attached to where you've come from and without being attached to the type of person you are. So yeah, this has been a great video, very informative. I'm just gonna go shoot some more footage of the dock and hopefully show you some great stuff that's been going on today. But uh, I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.